because it's being built and fired on the site, we first have to do a, a number of calculations for because first we'll in, require that we build the kiln base. The foundation will actually be in fact the base of the kiln upon which we build the piece taking into consideration the kiln firing. Um, it will be <coughs> both one form, the soda plot of chair mm -hmm. piece will be a downdraft kiln which will allow an internal flue, a chamber that will be the and the alba the alba form of the plaza will be an updraft, which it will be two different types of kilns. So taking into consideration those calculations that we are being have to make prior to the building of the actual piece. Then that will be the brick foundation upon which the piece will be built. As we pray, as we pray, we build it as we pray. So. The, the challenge, the technical challenge, is that it is a work being made outside and that we have to work with the, the rains, the storms, the sun, the, the, the extremes of the, the weather. Here in Japan, very extreme weather conditions to do this kind of work. Um, another technical difficulty is that because it is um, Ceramics, it's, it's, a, it's unusual to the ceramic world. It's more architecturally oriented ceramics. So um, structurally speaking, there is not much data on how to build such massive structures. So a lot of the data, although we're consulting with many, you know, generation old ceramic artists, they say basically you have to make it, make it and find know. out to know what it means to make it. To so it's it a process it. of developing technology in an ancient, ancient um, in material. Um, this isn't necessarily a ceramic um, requirement to the material. But one of the biggest challenges to building this work is not the actual ceramic um, technology, uh, the, not the, the a limitation of the material, it's a limitation of the mentality of the, the world we live in. People foresee ceramics as a functional wear, and in the, even in the ceramic, in, in the sculptural well, world, it's even not... Even if it's not functional, they... Um, they make it hollow. They make it hollow with thin walls. Lightweight. Can't have cracks so, in it. Mm -hmm. um, we, we are take our. We believe that ceramics is of the earth. It's it's an earthen material, earthenware. It it doesn't have to be light. In fact, the earth is not light. It's quite a dense material. But also, what we're working with is the community and in um, involving people and educating people and getting people involved. Um, and getting people excited also, doing something for their community um, by themselves. I it's mean, rare in this so. world we live in that people actually make things, you know, mm -hmm. and that you get involved and mm -hmm. build it and they will come, I mean, mm -hmm. begin to build it and they'll jump in and start building with you and we all build it together kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, so you like it, huh? Are you going to invite your friends? Yes. Middle, yeah. I mean, you can see it. You mm -hmm. can see it. Um, anybody can see it from the distance or from. I think what's important about this kind of work is that mm. people can touch it. It's not in a, in a museum, it's not in a gallery. It's not something that people come to buy. So I think that more than wanting people just to see it, it's people to touch it and to sit and to play here. That I think that's the... To interact with it. It's a piece be to our, be... Our, our kind of our, our hope, that we hope that people can do that. That can. Usually in a museum you have a sign that says, please don't touch. If anything, I'd like to have a sign that says, please touch. It's amazing because 
The message should be the peace. They came, he, mm. they came and saw the peace, and they said, "Oh, you can do that with clay. You can do it in one place and fire it in one place. You know, it doesn't need to be light. It doesn't need to be transportable." Um, I think the message is the work, and I think that's, I think that's what, that's our work. What we do is to express ourselves through the clay, and the message. People has to receive the message from the clay, and if people doesn't receive it, it's because the work is not, it's not good. <laughs> it's a message. I think it's also a message of it's a, it's a sensation. Mm -hmm. You walk in the, the forest, feeling. you feel it. Oh, wow, something that's bigger than you that that you, that encompasses you that you 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 stand next to, and you and you have a, re a physical reaction, mm -hmm. a physical relationship. It's a work that that moves to be touched by it mm. naturally not because we say we made it like this or like that just because they saw it and they felt it and they're touched by it so. and it leaves a memory that, that, mm -hmm. that it that it touches you your psyches that it moves you then you you continually oh it's like that that piece that we saw once in Kowaki Park a long time ago that it, it leaves mm -hmm. that uh, it, a trace in your mind a memory mm -hmm. footsteps okay. somewhere in there oh. okay yes Thank you. 